Hello everybody, I hope you have been enjoying your summer months. I wanted to make a special video um, focused on some recent news about the Sacrament of Confirmation um, and some changes that are going to be taking place in our diocese in the upcoming school year. Um, of course, if you are a priest or in leadership in your parish, you probably already know about this. Um, but as many people go on vacation in the summer months, you may have missed the June 16th edition of the Southwest Kansas Catholic newspaper. Um, so for those of you who have not heard the news, um, let me start by reading just a little bit of Bishop John's article from, from the SKC, the June 16th edition. The Sacrament of Confirmation strengthens the baptized with the gift of the Holy Spirit through the holy anointing to imitate Christ and to spread and defend the Catholic faith. Thus, the faith is strengthened of the baptized person. Um, so beginning this upcoming school year, Bishop John has asked that confirmation take place within the age range of fifth to eighth grade. So after the release of this article, many of you came um, to me with some questions um, and just asking for some guidance regarding uh, the upcoming transition. Um, and so I just wanted to take some time to answer some of the most commonly asked questions and comments that you all have had. Um, so first of all, many of you asked, um, what was the reason for this change? What was the reason for this mandate? Um, so Bishop John has given us two reasons. First of all, to clarify, confirmation will be within the age range of fifth to eighth grades. And those who have missed the sacrament in middle school may receive it as high schoolers or adults. And there's two reasons for this change. Um, first, many of the youth are missing the sacrament of confirmation as high schoolers due to work schedules, sports schedules, adolescent rebellion, or other reasons. Um, the second reason that Bishop John gives us is that these young people will bear the fruit from the graces of the sacrament of confirmation as they enter the challenging years of high school. Okay, another commonly asked question um, is, do we have to move the sacrament of confirmation all the way down to fifth grade? Um, and the answer is not necessarily. Um, so for example, if your parish is already confirming every other year, seventh and eighth graders, you do not need to make any change because that is within the range of fifth to eighth grade. Um, if your parish is attempting to um, confirm in the seventh grade, but due to space and due to um, many other reasons that a, a student may not be able to do confirmation in the seventh grade, um, of course, you are trying to confirm them in eighth grade and then even on into high school and adulthood. Um, that is fine as well. So you do not have to move it all the way down to fifth. Another grade. similar question. Um, you do not have to have fifth through eighth grade in one classroom. So again, if you've already been confirming every other year, seventh and eighth grade, and that works well for your parish, you are welcome to continue doing that. Um, so you are not required to now move to having it every four years, fifth through eighth grade in one classroom. Um, if you would like to move the age down to fifth grade, um, you are welcome to do so. You might find that it um, would be prudent perhaps to have fifth and sixth graders in one classroom, perhaps learning one curriculum while the seventh and eighth graders are in another classroom um, using a more mature curriculum. And finally, um, what if a student is younger than fifth grade, but the parent, catechist, and priest agree that he or she is ready to be confirmed? Um, I know sometimes this happens in our smaller parishes where you combine many grade levels because you simply don't have a lot of students. Um, so Bishop has just asked that this be handled on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, if you have a younger student who um, you and the parent feel is ready to be confirmed with the upcoming confirmation class, please bring that up with your pastor and then your pastor will bring it up with Bishop. Okay, and finally, I think the most common request from the needs assessment survey that many of you filled out earlier this month was a request for a confirmation retreat. Um, and so I just wanted to let you know that I hear you and I think that that is a fantastic idea for me to work on um, for the future. However, this upcoming school year, due to budget and time constraints, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, instead, I encourage you with your, your confirmation classes to attend the Diocesan Eucharistic Congress. 
Um, it is coming up September 13th, 14th, and 15th. And there will be a specific youth breakout session on Saturday, September 14th. Um, I think this would be an extremely appropriate confirmation retreat for this reason. Let me read you a little bit from the Catechism, um, Catechism 1285. Baptism, the Eucharist, and the Sacrament of Confirmation together constitute the sacraments of Christian initiation, whose unity must be safeguarded. So you can see um, that not only would it be appropriate, but I think it would be a fantastic idea to help your confirmation students recognize the unity between the three sacraments of initiation, baptism, followed by confirmation, followed by weekly Eucharist. If you have any more questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me via my email or um, my phone. I would be glad to um, help guide you and your parish through this time of transition.